it's a very very impressive very very impressive exhibition it tells the whole uh, life of this country the culture and also the activities that go on in our daily life of uh, the country. Fortunately for me in particular, I've known Mr. Finn for, for a very long time. And he is somebody who is devoted to his work. He's been trying to portray the culture, the Ghanaian, and, and Ghana to the outside world. And like some other people, they start and then you don't see them anymore. But he's been consistent for all the years, over 40 years. He's been in this industry, uh, he's been taking pictures, he's been uh, embarking on exhibitions, all in the name of Ghana, to let people know how important Ghana and our own culture is. So I am, I am, I'm not even surprised to see what he's done, because you mentioned the name of Mr. Finn, and it's synonymous with what he's been able to achieve. And I will encourage him not to rest, but continue so that his name will be remembered in the years to come. For some reason, we don't value our own culture. We have been bombarded by this, uh, television and what goes on outside our country. And some, some people are also uh, driving away our youth from participating and following our culture just because they feel it's, it's fetish and it's got something to do with uh, gods which are not Christian and so forth. But they must understand that we are Ghanaians. We are special and God created us as special people. We have our own way of life, the way we do our things. We christen our, we name our children, we marry, education, the way we cook, the way we eat, the way we talk, are all peculiar to the Guardian. And if we do not learn these things, we will find ourselves hanging in the air. We will not belong to Ghana, we will not belong to anywhere else, and, and we will be lost in the system. So I will encourage our youth, especially our youth, who are fond of, these days you talk to a youth that he'll be holding his uh, uh, mobile phone. The concentration is on mobile phone. Even the conversation turns into mobile phone. This is a distraction. And we must remember that as Ghanaians, we owe it to our old selves to portray our culture. Otherwise, we'll be lost.